What's up, Captastic ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another Fan Friday episode in this PTCGO series. In Fan Friday, I take a look at a decklist that was sent to me by one of you guys and girls, the viewers. And today's decklist was sent to me by Mad Duck24 on Facebook or Daffy Duck on YouTube. Uh, yeah, Daffy Duck, I had to look it up. I'm pretty sure Daffy meant something and it turns out Google Translate says it's mildly eccentric. So uh, the decklist was sent to me by a mildly eccentric duck. You already get a sneak peek here from what the deck is about. It's a Venusaur deck and a, a Sceptile EX deck. If you want to send me your own decklist to feature on Fan Friday, go ahead and contact me on Facebook or let me know in the comments down below. Uh, if you want to skip the deck analysis for this deck, just click the annotation on the top left of the screen and that will take you straight to the battles. So the deck here is uh, based around Venusaur EX, Mega Venusaur EX, Sceptile EX and Mega Sceptile EX. Venusaur EX with the Poison Powder, the 60, uh, costs 3 energy of which 1 Grass, then your opponent's active Pokemon is poisoned. And then a Jungle Hammer for one more Grass Energy does 90 and you get to heal 30 from this Pokemon. Then Mega Venusaur EX, uh, the Mega Evolution. Unfortunately, there is no Spirit Link to evolve from Venusaur EX into Mega Venusaur EX. So when you do, you have to pass your turn. That's a bit unfortunate, but the attack is actually pretty good. Christ is fine for 120 damage, which is not that much. But then you, your opponent's active Pokemon is paralyzed and poisoned. That means it, it cannot attack. Unless there is something like a Zoroark on your opponent's bench which can stand in and retreat. But for the main main bulk of the decks out there, it will mean that the opponent's active Pokemon will be stuck there and cannot attack. It does cost 3 Grass Energies and a single Colorless Energy. So a 3-3 line of Venusaur EX, Mega Venusaur EX and then a 3-3 line of Sceptile EX and Mega Sceptile EX. Sceptile EX, uh, well known probably by most of you. Flip a coin if heads your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep and poisoned for the sleep poison attack. For 10 for a single grass energy. Then for a grass and a colorless unseen claw, 60 damage as a base. And if your opponent's active Pokemon is affected by a special condition, it does 70 more. So it would do 130. Uh, so a very nice synergy with the sleep poison attack. But the main, I think the main reason why... Sceptile is played in this deck is because of its Mega Evolution. Uh, with the uh, Theta Stop, prevent all effects of your opponent's Pokemon abilities done to this Pokemon. That's the, the trait of Mega Sceptile. But the attack is a, for a Grass Energy and a Colorless Energy. You get to do 100 damage. And then you may attach up to 2 Grass Energy cards from your hand to your benched Pokemon in any way you like. And if you did that, you also heal all damage from that Pokemon. And that is pretty awesome. And maybe you are already seeing it, but I think uh, since this is not my decklist, I'm just assuming here. But the strategy behind this deck is getting out your Mega Sceptile EX, going for a Jagged Saber and, and, and then attaching... Two Grass Energies uh, to the Mega Venusaur EX, uh, after which it only needs two more energies for a Crisis Find. So I'm, assu I'm assuming that is the strategy here. Besides uh, the three three lines of the EX Pokemon, there is also a Virizion with Bailout. Put two Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand and prize counts, uh, which allows us to potentially come back if we are behind in the prizes. And furthermore, there is one Hoopa EX to get out our EXs a little bit easier with the Scoundrel Ring, which allows us to search our deck for three EXs. And one Shaman, of course, uh, the good old Shaman for setup. Uh, why not? Uh, it's nearly in every deck out there, so it's obviously in this deck as well from Daffy Duck. And for the energies, 12 Grass energies, and that's it. No. No DCEs, so whatever we do, we will have to attach f 4 Grass Energies or 4 Energies to this Mega Venusaur EX. We can't speed up with a DCE, for example, for the Jungle Hammer. And then we go into the Trainers. Uh, pretty standard draw support line, as I said, the Shaman. Then 2 Birches, uh, 3 Professor Sycamores for draw support, 4 VS Seekers to get to our supporters, and 4 Ultra Balls to get to our Pokemon, as well as some Trainers Mail, 3 of those. For consistency. And then the stadium. 
The stadium is uh, forest of giant plants so that we can evolve potentially on our first turn into Mega Sceptile AX. We do need the Spirit Link, two of those into uh, in this deck, uh, two Spirit Links, which means it's not going to be very easy to get them out, but we do have a Skyla to search for um, trainer cards, so we could potentially search for Spirit Links with a Skyla. And then... Let's see, what else is uh, left? Uh, we have uh, a lot of 1 and 2 offs. For example, 2 floatstones, uh, potentially for retreating uh, the Hoopa if it gets Lysandered out, or even uh, the Mega Venusaur EX, so we can, if it's damaged, we can retreat it into the Mega Sceptile EX, go for a Jagged Saber, heal up that damage and attach some more energies. Um, and then one energy retrieval to get back energies from our discard pile, one evil soda to help with evolving our EXs, two mega turbos for energy acceleration onto the megas, uh, one professor's letter to get energies into our hand, for example, to go with the jagged saber, which does require the two grass energies to be in our hands, one switch uh, for switching out our heavy Pokemon since um, the retreat is two for Mega Sceptile EX, three or oh, four. Look at that! What a what a heavy fat Pokemon here, the Mega Venusaur EX. Uh, four energies to retreat and three or uh, two for the Hoopa. And then uh, that's it actually. We are done here with the deck analysis. We also have one Hex Maniac, obviously, and one Lysander for obvious reasons. Hex Maniac to shut off abilities and Lysander for. Helping us knock out uh, the easy Pokemon, the easy prizes on our opponent's side of the field. And that's it here. We will call this the end of the deck analysis. Uh, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoy Daffy Duck's decklist. If you enjoy the battles that are about to come. And subscribe to my channel for more competitive, silly and fun deck ideas. And I will see you in the battles. Here we go. We are facing M Thunder EX with a Psychic and a Colorless deck. No metal deck, and I'm I'm saying no metal deck because I've been playtesting this deck a little bit to get used to it, and every matchup I had was against the metal deck. There must be some kind of metal challenge going on. I don't know. Uh, I don't have a metal challenge. I don't know what's going on, but uh, no. I was constantly facing Metagross decks and and Scissor decks. Uh, I'm so glad to not face any of these uh, in our first matchup here. Uh, we start off with a pretty great hand. That is indeed a pretty great hand here. One of the best hands I've started off with so far. And no mulligan as well. During playtesting I was... I mulliganed a thousand times and more even though we play 9 basics. And we are facing a item lock deck which will be... Ah, this That will be trouble for us. So we might have to go with the Skylab for a Spirit Link so that we can use the Spirit Link while we still can against the Trevenant deck before we get item locked. And I think our opponent will start off with a Phantom. That would be the best for my opponent to start off with anyways. Uh, if he has it in his hand seems to have a little bit of trouble deciding what to start off with. I don't really understand that. Maybe my opponent is AFK, but I don't really understand why it sometimes takes so long for opponents to, yeah, to do that. To put a Pokemon in the active spots. Kind of weird. Um, kind of frustrating as well. It's a waste of time for both players just to sit there and wait for an opponent to have to select a starting Pokemon. I wish that uh, the PTCGO would automatically select a starting Pokemon if you only have one in your hand. Because we, when you only have one in your hand, you still have to do it manually. A very slow opponent here. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm gonna ask him if he's lagging or something because... this We are two minutes in the game and he's... Not done anything useful except for putting down a basic uh, or draw his prize, prize cards. So we'll draw into some more cards here. We get a Mega Venusaur EX. That's okay. And there is a Gengar EX. Starts off with a Gengar. We'll attach to the Sceptile. We'll put down the Stadium. And we'll put down the Hoopa. We'll go with a Venusaur. There's no Shaman in our deck. Um, 
Sceptile and Mega Sceptile. I think those are our best bets. Then we have one more spot left, or actually two more spots. So we will search for uh, the Spirit Link. There it is. And we do have an X-Maniac, which we could break the item lock with at some point, if necessary. We will evolve into the Mega Sceptile and evolve into the Mega Venusaur EX as well, because it's our first turn. So at least we don't have to Mega Evolve later on and waste a turn. We made the best of our first turn here by Mega Evolving the Venusaur EX. And we also have an energy for the turn after that, but basically that's it. I should have VS Secret for the Skyla here. I regret not doing that, because if we get item locked, then we cannot use the VS Seeker. I definitely should have done that uh, when I come to think about it. Passed my turn a little bit too soon. I should have done that before Mega Evolving. So I'll probably do it if we don't get item locked. I'll do it this turn. And my opponent uh, oh, gets out the Hoopa. That's too bad. I would have liked to Skyla for a Professor's Letter. Now we'll have to Skyla for a Floatstone. And there is the Phantom. Do we see the Trevenant first turn? Do we see a Wally into the Trevenant and then retreat of the Gengar into the Trevenant? Here's a Floatstone on the Phantom. Dimension Valley counters the Stadium. That's okay, we have had our evolution, so there's no need for a Dimension Valley, uh, for a Forest of Giant Plants anymore. Our opponent it keeps digging here, very good first turn from our opponent. Uh, we get hit by a Night Attack onto... Onto what? That's the question. Maybe the Mega Sceptile EX? Yes, indeed. He went for the Mega Sceptile EX. So what do we top deck? We top deck another Mega Sceptile EX. I'll go with the Skyla, Skyla for a Floatstone, for sure. Yes, we'll do that. Then we'll retreat the Hoopa, and we'll go for a, a Jagged Sable. We'll also counter the Stadium here. Jagged Sable, unfortunately we won't have any energies in our hands to use with the Jagged Sable. But we're definitely putting a lot of pressure on my opponents because this Gengar will go down uh, in the next turn if it does not retreat uh, into the Trevenant, which might very well happen. We will probably get poisoned by the Dark Corridor. Your opponent's active Pokémon is not poisoned. Switch this Pokémon with one of your benched Pokémon. Here is the Ultra Ball for the Trevenant. So he will switch into the Trevenant with the Item Lock. And we can't knock it out in one hit because the Trevenant has 110 hit points. Which is a bit troublesome. Definitely, definitely troublesome for us. So I'm, uh, I kind of think we are in a bad spot at the moment. Let's count it up. Switching back into my opponent's turn, we will be down to 110 hit points. 110 plus 60 and... Ten. So we should be able to stay alive again and either knock out the Trevenant or the Gengar. But for now we'll definitely go with the Birch. Birch for a, <laughs> a Tails, are you kidding me? And all item cards, no energies. We really wanted to see energy, so we'll go with the Jagged Saber. Hitting for 100 damage. Whatever my opponent decides to do, we have one more attack to work with. If we see a Lysander, that will be a problem. We have no way to retreat the Pokémon on our bench. And my opponent has three more VS Seekers for Lysanders. There is a Lysander indeed for the... Maybe the Mega Venusaur EX. Our opponent is thinking very deeply here. Oh, goes for a Delinquent. Instead of the Lysander, that's actually okay by me. I will discard these two. I'll keep the Mega Turbo in my hand. I'm very happy to not have seen that Lysander. Does he retreat into the Trevenant though? 
He does. So the item lock will break in the next turn, and we get an energy which I will put on the Sceptile on the bench. The Mega Venusaur is not nearly ready to attack. There was no point using it with the Jagged Saber either. So we do get the first knockout of the game, but our opponent will get a knockout right now onto the Sceptile. Fortunately, we managed to get the Shaman from our prizes, which means we can draw into some more cards. and uh, We should be able to use them since there is no Trevenant on my opponent's bench. Even has to go for a Birch of his own. That's three VS Seekers in the discard pile. That's only one more VS Seeker left for a Lysander. I think my opponent should have gone for the Lysander there, not for the Delinquent. Although he did get the Lysander back from his discard pile, so he is back into his deck and switches into the Shaman. Pretty interesting choice there, switching into the Shaman. Uh, might as well Mega Turbo onto the Venusaur on the bench. Get that ready for the Crisis Fine, because <laughs> it's definitely a bit of Crisis at the moment. Uh, just a little bit, and there is another Mega Turbo. And I think I'll go with the Sycamore actually. Wait, we don't have a Sycamore, we have Birch. Oh, this is tough. This is pretty tough here. We'll have to rely on the birch. I will discard this. Yeah, I'll discard these so we, that we don't see them anymore. And I won't get anything. Then I'll go with the VS Seeker, get the Burge, we need some more cards, we need energies. Hopefully we can get a Spirit Link and a Mega Sceptile X and we do flip Tails again. My gosh, this is really very unfortunate, all those Tails. There is an X Maniac. I should definitely grab the X Maniac. That is our best option when the Trevenant comes out to play again. Let's see here, X Maniac. Until the end of your opponent's next turn, each Pokemon in play. Yeah, so we could shut off the item lock with the Hex Maniac. I will go for that. And then I will attach to the Sceptile EX and hit for an Unseen Claw. No need to go for a Sleep Poison. Um, the chances of putting this Shaman to sleep and having it stay asleep are very slim. At least this way we can get a two-hit knockout. But there, there is a floatstone from a Skyla, I believe. We will see a floatstone from the Skyla. I don't know what, what else my opponent would go for. Oh, goes for an Ultra Ball, no floatstone. So do we get a free knockout here? Or does my opponent have a floatstone in his hand? Whichever the case, we are very nearly there and knocking out two EXs on my opponent's side of the field and two EXs is would bring us down to one prize. And there's an Ultra Ball for a Phantom probably. <coughs> oh excuse me and retreat into the Gengar. What will my opponent retreat into? Night Attack Onto the Venusaur on the bench. Are you kidding me? He basically giving us a, a nearly a free knockout here. We get an Ultra Ball. Might as well. We have used one, two VS Seeker. We should be able to draw into another VS Seeker with the Sycamore. And then we can get back the Hex Maniac uh, for a turn after that. And we don't draw into it. Are you kidding me here? We don't draw into it. Don't draw into a VS Seeker. That is such BS. We drew into so many energies. Y 
Yeah, well, that was really BS here, so... I have to go with the Sleep Poison now. It doesn't matter if we go with this Unseen Claw or the Sleep Poison. Unseen Claw does not knock out the Gengar EX. With the Sleep Poison, we at least have that chance of putting it to sleep. And, of course, uh, it did not get put to sleep. So we are facing an item lock once again. Oh my, this, uh, we will then switch into the Mega Venusaur EX for sure. When the item lock comes out. And there is a Sycamore bringing my opponent down to 16 cards. We are down to 15 cards and another another Gengar EX. So our Venusaur, Mega Venusaur EX is nearly ready to go. We will switch into the Mega Venusaur EX. Or retreat into the Mega Venusaur EX. And my opponent even gets a Float Zone to knock out the Trevenant. Dark Corridor for 60 with poison. That's okay. We will get rid of that poison soon enough. So here is the last energy needed, and I will knock out that annoying Trevenant in one hit with the Venusaur EX. Christ is fine for the knockout. And I think my opponent should start to worry a little bit right now because. He has the Shamans there and the uh, Gengar. We have a Lysander in our hands to Lysander those out. I'll for sure Lysander out uh, that Shaman at some point. Or the Gengar if my opponent decides to attack with another another Gengar. We will, if we get poisoned, we'll switch into the Sceptile on the bench and then retreat it once again. I think that's a pretty good play. Another Sycamore bringing my opponent down to seven cards, and there is a Lysander in the discard pile, as well as an enhanced hammer, which is of no use against his deck. I think we have a shot here at pulling it off against a Trevenant Gengar deck. A hit for 60, and we will see the switch into the Trevenant or oh, in the Shaman. He gives us a free knockout. He basically gives us a free knockout. I'm going to switch myself, I think. Does it matter? If we pass the turn, we are to 110, then 60 and 10 from the Gengar at 70. And actually, it doesn't really matter if we switch. But I will for now actually license around that Gengar. Because that's the biggest threat on the board. And then we can get back in the Lysander for the win. For the turn after that. On the Shaman. And my opponent knows it. We have the game there. Wow, that was amazing. That was actually amazing. I can't believe this. I. Uh... Oh my gosh. We pull off the win against Trevenant Break with Sceptile, Mega Venusaur. Mega Venusaur here had the game, was going to knock out the Gengar. The only threat that could, well, kind of knock us out at some point. My opponent would have needed another DCE um, and a Psychic Energy in order to be able to, with a, be able to attack with the Gengar on the bench. Or another Psychic Energy for the Trevenant and a Dimension Valley. Uh, but we had there the Lysander to knock out uh, the Shaman in the turn after that we would have knocked out this Gengar that we Lysandered out. Wow, that was... Uh, ho ho! I'm pretty happy here. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, damage dealt 490. Biggest attack 120. You saw the Mega Venusaur in action. Even though the paralysis wasn't necessary because it one hit KO'd the Trevenant. It was still nice to see. MVP Mega Sceptile EX. And Tails Flip. Look at that. Three Tails. And my opponent. Three Tails as well. Such bad luck with Tails in this game. Anyways, I think we should find ourselves uh, one more final opponent. And our final opponent of the day is JJ R. JJ. Hello, JJ. How are you, JJ? With a nice uh, bloody Gyarados coin again. We saw that in one of our previous videos. This coin must be from uh, some kind of uh, maybe theme deck or a box. Um, 
I'm not sure. I know that I don't have it. And we start off with a Venusaur EX. Can we get... Oh, are you kidding me? Another... Is this real? Is this real life? Another Trevenant deck. Another one. Well, might as well try and get out that Mega, Mega Venusaur again. For the one hit KOs on those Trevenants. Uh, hopefully we don't see a Wally turn one. That would be... Annoying to say the least. And there's two trainers mail already. That's half of the trainers mail in my opponent's deck because I think opponent runs four. See a energy. Do we see a Wally? Hopefully not. No trouble for a shaman. Oh, Trevenant and Slow King. That's a pretty interesting combination. And there is a shaman for five cards. A near optimal shaman draw. Near optimal setup. And there's the Wally. Oh my. Oh my. That is not good. Not good at all. At least we have a Birch here. A Birch to boot. And a Stadium to counter. At least and there's that. So we will have to go with that. And we will have to hope that we get lucky with the Birch. No Tails anymore. We have had enough tails. <laughs> yes, the PTCGO agrees. And we get a Mega Venusaur EX. Might as well go with that. With that Mega, that beast. We have an energy. We have a Shaman. Yeah, this is definitely not looking good right now. I hope my opponent cannot counter the stadium. We'll go with a another Wally. Oh, okay. I thought maybe draw supports. But there's none in my opponent's discard pile. Wally for the Trevenant Break, which can hit for 50, or it could hit for 60 with uh, 80 with the Tree Slam. It's for 30. Oh, yeah, I meant 30. 30 with the Silent Fear. That's. Uh, yeah, that's the only option my opponent had, because he needs three energies to hit with the Tree Slam. And. Uh, there is a Sycamore. We'll go with the Sycamore. No need to put the Shaman on our bench. It's only a Lysander target. Just like this Hoopa. Yeah, we have to end our turn here. There's nothing we can do. At least we have one more energy. But my gosh, that was... From the Sycamore, we only got one more energy. Not ideal at all. And there is the third energy. We will get hit by a tree slam for 80. One more tree slam is not enough to knock us out. And we have to. Oh no, I wanted to go with the birch. I want to go with the birch. Oh. oh we top deck that birch. I didn't see that. Hopefully, we can get it from uh, the, the birch here, the energy. Oh, and a Sycamore. Let's go with the Sycamore. Why not? Discard all those VS Seekers for sure here. Guarantee that energy drop. And we'll knock out... Oh, we won't knock it out, actually. But, oh, we will actually. We will put it... We will paralyze it and poison it. Which means we will knock it out the turn after that. My opponents cannot do anything against it. I hope that's not an energy in my opponent's hand. If it is not, we have a chance here at coming back. Because this Trevenant is not ready to attack. And there is the energy. Are you kidding me? That top deck. That top deck though. That was huge. But here it is. Uh, the Crisis Vine in action. And it really helped us out. And we are taking the first prize of the game. And just like that. Discarding. Or... Taking out the Trevenant break. And we didn't get any more energies from the Sycamore either. Does my opponent promote the other Trevenant? I don't want to see an energy or a stadium. If it's neither of those, we are safe. If it is, we are in a pickle. But my, oh, my opponent already top decked an energy, so I would be surprised to see another one. And there is no energy. There was only a level ball, which means this Trevenant will go down. It will be KO'd by the Mega Venusaur EX with the Crisis Fine. 
And that's definitely not good for my opponent here. I think this is one of those comeback matches where we seemingly are in a very bad spot, but then somehow come back and mainly thanks to the Crisis Vine, which paralyzed that Trevenant break in the active spot. And I've got a feeling here we might see a concede, actually, because my opponent, uh, well, he's not doing much. He's uh, sitting there, letting the timer go down, slowly but surely. At some point, the PTC Geo will tell, him, will tell him that if he does not make any action, perform any action, he will lose the game. And there is the pass of the turn, finally. I don't know what was that about, or what that was about. Uh, we'll go to Crisis Fine, knocking out that Trevenant and getting rid of the item lock, which means we get a turn to use the Sceptile Spirit Link and to use our item cards to dig for energies. Maybe we can even get one from the prizes, and we do indeed, which we will attach to the Sceptile on the bench. And I think we should retreat the Mega Venusaur into the Sceptile. So we can heal it up uh, with the Mega Sceptile EX with the Jagged Saber. That would be super. Just healing off 190 damage. Can you imagine it? And here is a Wally for a Trevenant. My opponent will continue the lock. Which is okay. Oh no, uh, the Wally for a Slow King is going to try and move the energy around. Luckily, we got that energy from the prizes and uh, fails to move the energy do we see the concede I'm thinking we might see the concede here and my point is just taking some more time I don't really like that okay so this time it did not take as long passes the turn we will put this energy on the Sceptile X put a spirit link on it uh, Mega Evolve and we'll take a look here. We have a float stone actually. Um, could get an Ultra Ball and there is the Concede. My opponent concedes the match. We had the float stone to put on the Venusaur so we could retreat the Venusaur for free into the Mega Sceptile EX. I think we had the game there indeed. I was waiting for that Concede and wow. Yeah, that's uh, another, another pretty interesting match actually with this deck. The Mega Venusaur EX really went to town against Trevenant Break today. Or against Trevenant Item Lock. It is also the MVP in this matchup, unlike the previous game. I don't know what's up today with the PTC GO. I had. First I had tons of Metagross and Scissor decks and now it seems like there's only Trevenant Break decks that I'm facing. <laughs> it's uh, very intriguing, uh, very intriguing uh, how they pair up matches or opponents. Anyways, this will be it. I think uh, I, I showcased the, the deck uh, or most of the deck or how it works. I had definitely had some fun with it. Uh, the one problem I had with the deck uh, during playtesting was getting out the Spirit Links consistently. So potentially I would, if I were to adjust the deck, I would add in one more Spirit Link and take out one of the stadiums. I think three fourths of that giant plants is enough. And then I would add in another Spirit Link. But overall, I think it was a pretty solid list. Uh, thanks a lot to Daffy Duck for providing the list, for allowing me to play with the list on my channel and showcasing it uh, to you guys and girls, the viewers, to you ladies and gentlemen. So if you want to send me your own list and see it on this channel, feel free to do so. Contact me on my Facebook, YouTube or Reddit, wherever you want. And I will consider showcasing it on Fan Friday. I hope you have a carptastic day and I will see you next time.